Welcome back to another big week in crypto, the market that never sleeps. This week we had more blue chip companies beginning to hire crypto specialists, the trading app Robinhood revealing 41% of its revenue came from crypto trading, and more headwinds for Binance as the company continues to get wrecked by regulators all around the world. As always, lots of great stuff to cover. So in this video, we'll be looking at the price action for the week, my three top charts of the week, and then we'll finish with the biggest news headlines of the week. As always, if you do enjoy anything in the video, then don't be shy, drop a like, always appreciated. Okay, first up, after the big breakout of the last couple of weeks, the crypto market this week added another 4%, and it managed to stay above a key trading signal. Check it out. Starting with the previous week, so this is the Bitcoin price, and I use this as a proxy for the crypto market. As if Bitcoin crashes, the whole market crashes. If Bitcoin rallies, the whole market rallies. In red, we have this 200 day moving average, which is a key trading signal. And in green is the 50 day moving average. So this was the story last week where it finally broke above the 200 day moving average. And now we have another week of data. And this is where we're at right now. So you can see we did get a bit of turbulence as it broke back below before rallying back up. And the interesting thing is that this 200 day used to be resistance, which we were trying to break above. And now the market has flipped and this has now become support. So that in itself is a bullish trend. And we can see the 50 day is now working its way back up. And just adding in some Fibonacci extensions. And if you haven't heard of the Fibonacci sequence, I would recommend watching a video on the Fibonacci sequence as it's a pattern that shows up everywhere in nature. And this says to me, we have these next lines of resistance. But I think once we get by this 50,000 mark, we could then get to see some big price movements. Next one would be above the 60,000 mark which would take us very close to the all time high. And from there, we'd be pushing almost $80,000. So Bitcoin continues to hold above one of the key trading signals, the 200 day SMA, which is a really positive sign. And for me, it was great to see just how resilient the crypto market was in the middle of all the FUD that was happening with Congress. Not only did it hold its position, it did in fact rally up when everything was going on. Yet another sign that investor sentiment is beginning to change. Okay, next up, we have my three top charts of the week. Take a look. First up, we have the fear and greed index. And what was really interesting for me is for the first time in three months, we hit the extreme greed level. So obviously since the big crash, it's been operating in the extreme fear. And as you can see, market sentiment is not just changing, we hit extreme levels of greed. Number two, and it's all about NFTs as they are exploding this month and will be setting a huge all time high. So NFTs were already doing pretty well, doing into the hundreds of millions of dollars. But this month it has exploded and broken above the $1 billion mark in sales. And we've got lots of different marketplaces, Super Rare, Nifty Gateway, Foundation, but you can see clearly the number one biggest place is OpenSea. And if you didn't know, OpenSea is the world's first and largest NFT marketplace. And it's where you buy things like digital art. And as you can see this week, they're featuring a very interesting Mike Tyson collection. So OpenSea is crushing the game when it comes to NFTs. And I'll show you some crazy things that have been selling in just a moment. And finally, we have the chart for decentralized finance. 
And this one was really interesting for me because you can see DeFi exploded to new highs in 2021 and it reached $154 billion. But what's interesting is that since the crash, DeFi has almost recovered back to its all time high and now sitting at 144 billion. So DeFi is growing faster than the overall crypto market. So for the first time in three months, not only did we see investor confidence coming back into the market, it did in fact do a full 360 and hit extreme greed. NFTs are continuing to set record highs this month, growing 300%. And no, that's not 300% year to date, that's 300% from just last month. And it looked like the big debates going on in the Senate had no impact to the world of decentralized finance, as it's almost back to its all time highs, and it's growing faster than the overall crypto market. Okay, to finish up, here are the top news stories and developments for the week. Check it out. And for me, this was the biggest story of the week. BlackRock joins Fidelity and Vanguard as a Bitcoin mining investor. And this one for me was so big because BlackRock is the world's largest asset manager and it has $9 trillion of assets under management. And they've taken big stakes in two Bitcoin miners, Marathon Digital Holdings and Riot Blockchain, to the sum of almost $400 million. In fact, let's get specific. It is 382 million, but let's not forget the $3.08. And I'm sure this $3.08 was a very strategic move. But it also highlighted another big thing. I knew that Fidelity had also invested, but I didn't realize Vanguard had also invested as well. So we have BlackRock, Fidelity and Vanguard all going into Bitcoin mining. And why mining companies? Well, it means they can get exposure to Bitcoin, but through a regulated environment. Huge news from Robinhood. Crypto trading has grown from 2% to 41% of Robinhood's revenue. So crypto is going to be a huge part of Robinhood's business moving forward. And most of that trading actually came from everybody's favorite meme. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. We had more Fortune 500 companies hiring for crypto specialists. This time it was Walmart. But remember, recently we had Amazon hiring. And also it was started by Apple. Then the second largest US mortgage lender will accept crypto payments this year. And this was the CEO speaking on a conference call outlining plans to accept crypto payments later this year. Cardano has been rallying and outperforming the market recently as it's now just weeks away from launching its smart contract platform. We have Premier League football in the UK, which is the size of baseball or football in the US. They're going to be featuring Dogecoin on their kit as part of a new advertising deal for gambling. And we've had lots of bullish Ethereum news. We had the 21st crypto ETF filing at the SEC, a new Ethereum ETF trust, but this time as the chairman Gary Ginsler had indicated, if you do it for you're way more likely to get approved. So we then saw Vanek adding another ETF application for Ether Futures as well. A huge deal for Ethereum. So a team at Microsoft will be using the Ethereum blockchain to help combat all the piracy issues going on. A huge deal for Audius. Audius is a decentralized music service based on Ethereum and it's only partnered with TikTok. So this is a huge deal for Audius and Ethereum, but also Solana. And the biggest bearish news continuing is for Binance. Dutch central bank claims Binance is operating illegally and it just keeps getting worse for Binance. They had their new compliance hire leave after just three months. 
Binance terminates services in Malaysia as the regulator ordered the exchange to exit the country within two weeks. And Binance seeks new CEO amidst regulatory probes. So what's going on? Well, Binance simply moved too fast. And now they're having to go back and seek regulatory license in every jurisdiction that they're operating. And the CEO Chow said, I don't mind taking a break. So obviously he launched the company so quickly into the stratosphere, but now they're gonna have to go back and do mountains of regulatory paperwork to make sure they're fully compliant. And finally, to finish up, do you want to see what has been selling on the biggest marketplace for NFTs right now? It is in fact, yep, these digital rocks are selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's the latest craze going on in NFTs. So here is your summary for the week. Bitcoin maintained above the 200 day SMA for the second week running. We had the fear and greed index hitting extreme greed for the first time in three months since the big crash. NFTs are booming and set to create new records growing 300%, now hitting over a billion dollars in sales volume. ETF applications at the SEC are piling up and it looks like the first ones to be approved will probably be through the futures market. We had more blue chip companies beginning to hire crypto specialists. Pictures of rocks selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And Binance continue to hit headwinds as they're now having to go back and fill in mountains of paperwork and regulatory filings after crushing their competitors over the last few years. So there you are guys, that was your crypto news for the week. Hope you enjoyed. Just to say then, if you did, then don't be shy, drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, then click below and join us. I've got some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.